Okay, this time we're going to write a script that deletes faces from the model. So what we do is we set up our variables like I normally do right here. And now what we want to do is we want to go through the model and find the faces. So let's set up an array. It's going to be faces and it's going to be empty array for now. So let's go through all the ents entities in the model. Ents.each do e and okay. If e is a SketchUp face, okay, so if e is a face object of the SketchUp module, then let's add e to our faces array. Okay, let's end that. There we go. So we can see that there. It's going to go through all the entities and it's going to add the entity to the faces array if it's a face. So now let's iterate through the entire faces array that we've just created. Um, actually, I'm sorry, we don't need to do that at all. Now we have an entire array of faces and that's all that we need to delete them. We have a list of everything essentially that we want to delete. So we go ents dot erase entity I think I got that one right. Let's look at this. I've got it open here. Okay, this is here in the SketchUp API. Yeah, entities.erase underscore entities. And it accepts as an argument a single entity or an array of entities to be erased. Perfect. So we have an array of faces. So we will feed ents, erase entities. We'll feed it our faces array. So with any luck, we click execute. Sure enough. So what that did is it went through and deleted all the faces, leaving the lines behind. And you'll notice this object here, I'm going to undo. Maybe. There we go. This object here obviously has lines in the middle. If we turn on hidden geometry, we can see all the lines. And let's see what happens. You, when you execute that script, with, all the, with the lines hidden, it goes ahead and erases. It takes out those lines that were hidden there. So let's undo that. So let's take this and let's go ahead and soften or uh, I guess hard, harden these edges, make them so we can see them. Now I've got all these edges. So now as we run the script, now it leaves that mesh behind. So that's kind of interesting to clear out all the faces in a model quickly. But let's say we don't want to do it over the entire model because that's really not terribly likely, I guess. So instead, in our script, we really don't need to look at all the entities in the model. All we really need to look at maybe is what the user has selected. So what we have here is cell, the model selection. So this variable cell is the model selection. So everything that the user has selected is right here in the selection um, variable. So instead of iterating over the entire entities collection, let's just iterate over the selection collection. So now maybe I just want this selected. Now click Execute and it'll just erase based on things that were selected because it's only adding faces to our faces array that were, um, that were first selected by the user. Okay, so I think that's about it. That's um, a pretty short little script and it works um, you know, pretty cleanly and pretty quickly to just go through and find faces and uh, we were able to show how to do it using the entire entities collection or just using what the user has selected which is often very important a lot of times your scripts you're going to need to really be paying attention first to what the user has selected when they activate your script um, and we also were able to look at the erase entities method and how to erase a collection of objects so all right there you go hope that's helpful